Hello everyone, good day. Our topic in this video is relations and functions. So what are our learning objectives? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to differentiate relations from functions, represent relations and functions using set of ordered pairs, table of values, mapping, graphs, and equations, and identify if the given relation represents a function. With this mentioned learning objectives, the essential question that needs to be answered is how to identify if the given relation represents a function. First, let us take a look at the following pictures. What is common to all of these pictures? All these pictures show relationships. And in mathematics, when we say relationships, it brings us to the idea of relation. So what is a relation? When we say relation, it involves the association or pairing of a set of information. Pairing of things or objects. It is also defined as a relationship between two variables, let's say x and y. In relation, since it contains pairing of objects, we usually look for the domain and range. So what is the difference of these two? When we say domain, it is a set of all values of x, while the range, it is a set of all values of y. Let us now have an example. Looking at the set R, can we consider this as a relation? Yes, it is. It is a relation since it contains five ordered pairs showing the relationship of x and y. Let's now have the domain and range. For the domain, we have to look at the x values. So here we have 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0. But take note that in writing the domain and even the range, we don't repeat the values. Therefore, the domain contains the values 0 and 1. Let's have the range. So for the range, we have to look at the y values 1, 5, 9, 13, and 15. Since there are no y values being repeated, the range contains all of these values. We have the set of y values 1, 5, 9, 13, and 15. Now, in this example, since in the domain x values repeated, this is an example of a special type of a relation which is called a function. A function is a relation in which each element of x is paired with exactly one element of y, meaning no x value is repeated. Since function is a relation, then we can say that all functions are relations, but not all relations are functions. There are several ways to represent a relation. It can be using set of ordered pairs, table of values, mapping, graphs, and equations. For the first two, they are considered a function if x is not repeated in at least two distinct pairs. Let us now have examples. Identify if the given relation represents a function. Looking at the first given relation, x is not repeated in our given. Therefore, this relation is considered a function. How about the second one? Take a look at the x values. Here, we have a value that is repeated, and that is 1. Since 1 is repeated as an x value, then this relation is not a function. For this table of values, looking at the x values, it is very obvious that no x value is repeated. Thus, we can conclude that this is a function. Another way to represent a relation is using mapping. In mapping, it is a function if it is one-to-one -one or many-to-one. -one. There are three kinds of mapping. We have one-to-one, -one, wherein every x is paired with one y. We have one-to-many, wherein one x is paired with many values of y. We also have many-to-one, -one, where many x values are paired with one y. In all of these three, one-to-many violates the idea of a function. Therefore, one-to-many is not a function, while one-to-one -one and many-to-one are both functions. How about this example? Is this a function? A 
As you can see, 2 in the domain is not paired with any value in the range. Note that in a relation, every x value must have some kind of correspondence or partner with the range for it to be considered as a relation at least. Since this is not a relation, then it follows it cannot be a function. Another way to represent a relation is using graphs. Here, we need the concept of vertical line test. So what is a vertical line test? A relation is a function if there are no vertical lines that intersect the graph at more than one point. Let us apply this concept to our examples. First graph, if we're going to draw vertical lines, the vertical lines intersect the graph at exactly one point in the graph. Therefore, this is an example of a function. On our second graph, if we were going to draw vertical lines, the vertical lines intersect the graph at two points, just like this. Therefore, this graph is not a function. Last way to represent a relation is using an equation. An equation is a function when you input a value of x and it corresponds to one y value. Let us apply this to some examples. First example is negative 3x plus y equals 7. Let's try to input an x value. Let's say x is 0. So we have negative 3 times 0 plus y equals 7. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. So we have y equals 7. Since for one x value, we have one y value, this equation is a function. Let's have the second one x squared plus y squared equals 25. Let's try to input 0 for x. So we have 0 squared plus y squared is equal to 25. 0 squared gives us 0, so we only have y squared equals 25. We need to take the square root of both sides to remove the 2 here. So when we remove the 2 here, we will also remove the square root. Now, to get the square root of 25, remember that it is possible that it could be positive 5 or negative 5. Therefore, for one x value, it gives us two y values. Then we can conclude that this equation x squared plus y squared equals 25 is not a function. At this time, it is your turn to apply the learned concepts. You may pause the video so you can answer these items. Identify if the relation represents a function. Let us now check your answers. Item number one is function, two, function, three, not a function, four, function, and five, not a function. Did you all get this correctly? If yes, great job. Now, let's have the key takeaways. Take note that a relation shows the relationship between two variables. Function is a special type of relation in which the value of x is paired with one value of y. And domain is a set of x values while range is a set of y values. And a relation can be represented by any of the following. Set of ordered pairs, table of values, mapping or arrow diagram, graph and equation. And to answer the essential question, how to identify if the given relation is a function, always take note that x value should not be repeated. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, please subscribe on my YouTube channel, Math Room by Teacher Joanne, and click the notification bell to be updated. Have a good day, everyone.